Today's video deals with replacing a bushing, a axle bushing, on a Toro 826 snowblower. I've gone to the Toro website, punched in the appropriate numbers, and the bushing itself, just a brass copper style bushing, is not very expensive at all. Problem is, we're at the Christmas holidays and everybody's closed. Most places are going to be closed for a minimum two weeks that do have the part. So, there's the shaft without the bushing. Here's, here's the bracket. The bracket sits in like that. And that shaft rides on a bushing that protrudes through that hole. Unfortunately, like I said, it's going to take a while. So what I've done is I've taken a uh, roller bearing, sealed roller bearing that I had laying around, and I've put a, uh, a copper sleeve in it to match up to the size of the shaft. Now that, on its own, sitting in that hole, would wear out in a matter of hours. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of pipe, I've cut it to a little bit thicker diameter, Oops. a little thicker diameter than what my bushing is, or my bearing is. Now my bearing will sit inside there, It'll, I have to kind of press it in, and then once that's sitting proper, everything's in place. I'm going to tack weld this this piece here to here using this setup to center it. Once that's all in place what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few dimples around the edge here knocking it inward to help lock the bearing in place. Very uh, quick well, not necessarily quick, but it'll be an effective repair that will last a lot longer than the bushing because it is a roller bearing. This uh, snowblower was actually built in 1978 from what the uh, dealership that sold it told me. So with a good motor back on it, with that repair, who knows? might get another 30-40 years out of it. And that's today's video.